Hi friends, here I am with another exciting video and this is the video number 50. Uh, so if you saw my previous video, uh, we did able to build this drop down button and able to show this button to admin and then hide those items from the regular user. Okay. So in this video, if you see, we have a inventories item here. So if I click this and you do see nothing comes up because we do not have an inventory controller. So in this video, we will go ahead and implement inventory controller. So let's click on go back. I'll go ahead and log out from here and then close this. Let's go to open our Visual Studio. Here is the Visual Studio right here. So now here you can see we have account controller, card controller, category controller, order controller and product controller. So if you haven't seen my previous videos, uh, please do watch all those videos. So then you will understand what we are doing here to create a inventory controller so right click on controller click on add click controller select this controller empty click add change the name to inventory inventory click add so now you do see we have inventory controller right here so here what i'm going to do i will create a view right click on add click add view click razor view add and then add here okay remove this line i will copy code and paste it here okay and then i will explain what i did so i just copy the code and paste it here just to save our time so here what i did um i'm checking if the user is admin or not if the user is admin i'm setting the value for this input is one and then uh setting the value for this if input is zero if the user is not admin okay and then here we have a div uh, with a link to product list okay so when user click on that product list link it will take to the product list table and then this is the just a s2 information about inventory list okay uh, so friends here uh, you can see we create a row right and inside this row we have a, a table with responsive and then you can see that table uh, id is my inventory table and these are the bootstrap class right there and we set up the table with 100 percent okay and then this is the uh, tables header the product name category you know the product price and then the quantity okay uh, and then here you can see uh, we have a inventory javascript file uh, which we just need to create it so, so i will go ahead and click on here uh, let's go to uh, js right click on it click add click class then type here java and uh, then create javascript file name the javascript file inventories inventories click add so now we do have inventory javascript file so here what we need to do i'll go ahead and copy the code and paste it here to save our time okay uh, but you know in our previous video we also did create some you know javascript file if you see those uh, videos this will be very easy for you to understand okay just paste the code right here uh, here what we are doing we are getting the value of that input field right here if the user is admin then uh, we'll have one here if not then we'll have zero okay and this is our data table you remember that we have the uh, table id which is my inventory table so what we are doing we are using jquery uh, data tables to display the inventory list so what you have to do you also have to uh, insert the cdn for our data table to our shared layout page so if you go to our shared folder go over here so you do have to insert uh, this in order to work with uh, data tables okay uh, insert this two line right there and then go down here also uh insert uh this right there okay uh but i have explained all this thing in our previous video so you will understand more if you saw my previous video okay so let's go back to our inventory js file so here uh can see the ajax functionality uh we are setting up the url and we will receive the data from get inventory list so uh, we need to go ahead and you know uh, create a function under inventory controller and from there uh, we'll go ahead and get the data and so now let's go ahead and create a get inventory list function in our inventory controller so let's go open inventory controller i'll go copy this paste it here and then change the name 
to get inventory list make sure keep the same name here otherwise it will not hit to this point so here what we are going to do we'll go ahead and list it down all the uh, inventory items from our inventory table okay so here i'll put bar inventory list equal to and then we also had to add our database here in order to uh, get the data from our database so here i'll type private read only our database name is let's go all the way up right here so here our database access so this is the application db context so here i'll put application db context just put context right there right click on it click on this and then create a constructor and we do have a constructor with application db context now we can access our database so click dot inventories dot true list so uh you know uh, we if i open our application db context database and you can see we did add this to our uh database table okay so make sure you do watch my previous video uh, so then you know how did we set this functionality here okay so let's go back to our inventory controller right here uh, what we have to do now we have to send this inventory list to our uh, ajax function calls so here let's remove this i'll type here json new data equal to inventory list okay so now we are sending this to our ajax call so let's go back to our inventories javascript file so now we type here columns right and then this data which is naming and then we are setting up the width and data for the category this is also setting up 25 uh, 25 percent width right there and then this for the purchase price this for the purchase price and what we are doing we are uh, rendering a function which returning a data uh, and then setting up the width of 10 percent for this purchase price okay and then you can see here we do have a quantity and then we're rendering a function right uh, passing the data to that function and then if data uh less than five what it means if the quantity is less than five right then we will mark that uh row as danger so then you know or the admin of the uh business they will understand that uh, inventory is low for this item and then we are returning the data okay uh, then here what we are doing uh, we will allow user to edit or uh, delete or you know uh, to see details uh, functionality here so here um, uh, we capturing an id and passing it passing the data so you remember that we set up if the admin user uh, equal to one right so we are checking if it is equal equal one then we will show this if not, then we will not show anything, okay? Uh, because those functionality is only available for admin. So here you can see a row, right? And then inside that, uh, we have three deep right there. Uh, one is for edit, one is for delete, and another one is for seeing the details, okay? Uh, and then we set up this is as a 30%. So uh, do copy the code here as it is, and then, you know, uh, see if it is working for you or not. So before I going to do, uh, I need to go open our layout page to see uh, if we added our inventory link to our uh, layout page so here you can see uh, we do have inventory controller and then the index page uh, will call when we click on inventory so let's run this so here our project is running right and you can see there is no drop down link here because we haven't signed in here so let's go ahead click on login and then click this type the password click submit so now you can see our home page and you can also see the management link right there click on drop down and then make it a small i'll go ahead and click on inventory controller i will see if we can able to to route here or not uh, let's inventory so now you can see our debug point stop here so that means we routed to here uh, let's go ahead and click continue all right so now friends you can see our data here in our data tables so here you can see these are the items for the product right and these are the quantity for each item so here you can see we have aromatic rice and then the quantity is five we have aromatic rice quantity is 10 and then aromatic rice quantity is two as i said if the data is less than uh, five then you know uh, it should mark with rate so uh, we do able to you know 
build this inventory functionality uh, so in our next video uh, we'll go ahead and then uh, create uh, edit functionality because you can see when i click on edit it is not there okay thank you for watching the video see you in the next tutorial please do share like and subscribe the channel thank you bye